Hello and welcome to another tech video on this channel. Today we are going to talk about three real life scenarios to start your AWS journey now. Before we begin, let me give you a brief intro about myself. I am Ajit. I work as a cloud and DevOps architect with one of the leading cloud consulting companies in India. Apart from that, I am recognized as an AWS ambassador and a community builder. So without wasting much time, let's head on to the scenarios. The scenario number one would be deploying a three tier architecture in AWS. This is how the architecture would look like. This is a typical three tier architecture that we have traditionally followed in both on premises as well as cloud infrastructure. Let's take a sample domain example.com. The user will hit example.com in his browser. The request will flow to route 53. We will create an alias record in the route 53 which will point towards an application load balancer. In the web tier, ports 443 or 80 would be configured on the load balancer and the target group will point towards the EC2 instances on HTTP ports like 80. In this scenario, for the app tier, I have shown individual EC2 instances configured in two separate availability zones. If you want to further enhance this architecture, you can set up auto scaling for your application instances, provided your application supports the same. Finally, in the DB tier, we can set up multi AZ RDS MySQL instances, which can be accessed from the app server on the port 3306. If you are doing this as an exercise, you may choose to ignore the multi AZ configuration and set it up as a single RDS instance in any of the availability zone. The scenario number two would be deploying REST APIs using serverless stack. Nowadays, most of the web traffic comes to us from mobile apps and also many more applications are being architected in a microservices or a loosely coupled way. To facilitate that, we need REST APIs. In this scenario, we are going to deploy REST APIs using serverless technologies like API Gateway, Lambda and DynamoDB. Considering a scenario where we have to create a user management module for a profile page in the mobile app, we will need create, read, update and delete APIs. Each API can be backed with a corresponding lambda function that is create function, read function, update function and delete function or we can have a single lambda function with if else condition based on get parameters. The user data would be stored in a DynamoDB table which is a proprietary NoSQL database from AWS. If you want to make this more advanced, we can also set up Route 53 between the user and the API gateway. The scenario number 3 would be deploying a static website on S3 with CloudFront and Route 53. As most of us know that S3 is an object based storage, but very few know that it can be also a home for static website. So here we can have our HTML, CSS and JS files in the S3 bucket. Along with that, we can set up a CloudFront distribution which will point to S3. But as a best practice, the traffic should not bypass CloudFront and hit our public bucket. For that, we have to configure Origin Access Identity or OAI to secure our S3 bucket. I'll mention the relevant links in the description box for your future reference. The final flow would look like user will point to Route 53 and then CloudFront and then the S3 bucket. So these were some simple real life scenarios which can get you started on AWS. I have already covered scenario number one in one of my videos, link is in the description. If you want me to cover a demo of the other two scenarios as well, please let me know in the comment section. I'll surely create videos on the same. Thanks for watching till the end. If you find my content useful, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. That's all for today. Thank you and bye bye.